In this video, we're going to be pulling in Bootstrap 4 into our project. What we'll do is we'll download Bootstrap 4 using NPM, and then we'll configure it in our angular.json file, and we'll test it, make sure everything's working. Uh, down in the description, you'll find this link, and that is the downloads page, and we'll be checking that out in a second. Now, to find the downloads page from the uh, home page, you just click download, and then uh, halfway down, it shows you how to uh, install like different ways here. We'll be using NPM. Just click this, and then let's go into our project and download that. So in the command line, and make sure you're within your SPA folder. Just paste it and hit enter. Okay, so now that we downloaded, let's go and check out our SPA. And as you can see, it made changes to our package.json file. And if you click on that, and it should pull it in right here. So that's great. So now let's go and tell our application about this. I'll close this down and let's go and open up our angular.json file. And we'll do like we did in, with font awesome. We'll just bring it in right here. I'm going to move this down to the bottom. I'm going to cut this out. This is our custom style sheet. This is where we're going to be adding our styles. So cut this out here and I'll just throw this at the bottom. Enter and paste. Now at the top here, I'll just bring in our bootstrap and then it's going to be uh, S C S S then the name of the file and it's going to be bootstrap dot S C S S and then uh, don't forget this. Okay. So now we're pulling in bootstrap into our project. Now we'll, what we'll do is we'll go and just use it somewhere. Just test it out. Make sure we're hooking it up correctly. And I'm thinking uh, we'll just go and open this up, open up our app folder, and we could just throw something in here. And uh, what we'll use is the container class, the, the bootstrap container class. And I'll just wrap all this within that. So let's create a div tab and then add a bootstrap class called container. Container. And then we'll just wrap everything within it. Now this should bump everything off the sides and that then, then we'll know it's working for sure. So copy, paste, and actually I could have cut that out. Get rid of this. Okay, and we, if we save it, make sure we restart our, our spa. So ng serve, start her up. And then let's go and restart it. And as you can see, everything's being bumped off the side. That's that Bootstrap container class doing that. So now we know Bootstrap is working. And also you notice the fonts might have changed. So, so we got that set up. Now in the next video, we're just going to go over what we did and what we're going to be doing in the next stage. So I'll see you then.